Hi, I'm Suzanne, and welcome to another episode of our Everything Finance blog. Today, I'm going to be discussing working to live or living to work. The concept of work and its role in a human's life has always been somehow controversial in whether a job is a need to or a want to. The whole American dream is by nature based on this contradiction as one's achievement is measured not by an existing standard, but by one's personal goals. Sadly, most people perceive their jobs as a tedious must that has to be done on a regular basis in order to make money. However, there are some particular professions whose representatives succeed in earning everyday satisfaction and moral fulfillment. So who are those lucky ones? Educating and molding young minds in teaching is a niche where one can feel really rewarded. School administrators constitute another layer of society that's quite content with their professional position. And of course, it would be wrong not to mention some of the other social, greatly appreciated jobs, like firefighters and clergy. Nurses and doctors also top the list, as no one can disprove their valuable part in society. Keeping one's body sound and healthy comes hand in hand with sports, which gives bright job prospect to fitness instructors. Physical therapists enclose the circle of valued healthcare professions who earn their bread and gratitude by assisting people in recovering from physical or mental injuries. Another job that ranks high in professional satisfaction is a financial planner. The job requires education and training, but providing people with practical advice and guidance is rewarding. Last but not least are those creative types, chefs, authors, artists, and so forth. Thank you for listening. For more information on working to live or living to work, please click on the link below or visit us at everythingfinanceblog.com.